Is your swing internal or external? Ooh, sounds a very fancy title, but we're going to simplify it for you. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to explain it in a minute. This is a really cool video because I think if you understand this or these two concepts, you'll be well on your way to improving much faster than you thought was possible. But these two different types of approach to golf uh, are essential, essential to understand them and you need to use both of them. All right, folks, here we go. Think about this golf. Uh, the title of uh, today's video is um, Is your swing internal or external? I know it sounds all fancy and stuff, but uh, it's pretty simple to play uh, to play golf well. You you have to do both. To play golf well, you have to have the ability to internalize your swing and to score well you have to be able to externalize your swing. So let me, let me explain um, what I mean by internal and external swings. This is the ball and I'm setting up to hit it. Let's say I'm practicing. Tendency for a lot of amateurs, they're trying to change something in their swing or they're trying to focus on their swing. What they're trying to do is swing this weight on the end of the club, you know, in a nice arc around their bodies, which actually the human body can do pretty well instinctively but instead of focusing internally on the weight of that club and what the body parts are doing you tend to focus on the ball you're focusing externally and because your focus is on that ball it's a blur everything else is a blur it's almost impossible for you to feel what's going on in your swing so there you are, you're looking at that ball, your focus is external on the ball, and so whatever's going on here you aren't really aware of, and when you get to the top of your backswing, you're so focused on that ball, you try and hit it, and you're not swinging the club, you're trying to get the club back to the ball. So your focus is external when it should be internal. So when you're practicing and hitting balls, you should just be focusing on what things feel like. Almost pretend the ball isn't even there. You're just focusing on your swing, swinging this weight, and swing it. What does that feel like? You know, what's, what's everything doing in my body? And that's how you ingrain the correct feelings and the correct uh, muscle memory to have a nice golf swing. That's not enough, okay? So then you get to the golf course, you're gonna go play. You can't play like that, okay? Because you need to focus externally to score. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna be very precise. I don't mean focus externally on the ball, although that's quite helpful for putting. And putting is a slightly different beast than the full swing because Precision of contact on the putter face is very important in putting, especially for distance control. But what I mean by external focus to score is you need to focus on the target, the wind, the slope, the all these things. And you need to be thinking about that. And it's, it's strange to say this, but external focus almost takes, um, it takes away or it it stops you being too technically minded or too internally focused and just allows you to perform. So just to recap, I know it's quite confusing, but when you're practicing, you really need to be internally focused on your body parts, how they move, not concentrate too much on the ball because that creates all kinds of havoc, but get a good feel for where this club is in space and how to get it to where you want it, you know, by checking yourself, in a mirror or a video, what it feels like. It's very hard to do that when you're focused on the ball because like I said, the ball blinds everything else, stops you being able to focus on these movements. 
And then when you go play, it's almost the reverse. Don't focus on the ball. Uh, look at it, by all means, you need to look at it so your brain can make the computations of how to get the club head back to the ball. But you don't want to be focused on it. You want to be focused on the wind, the target, all those kind of things. And that will free you up to just go and play golf and score. So there's a distinction between the two. And I hope you understand that. And try it. Next time you go practice, try and just forget about the ball. I know it's difficult. And the, it's why most of us have really good practice swings and our real swing is, is crappy is because we're so focused on the ball and hitting the ball. You ask most pros, they're making a swing. They are, the, the quality, the quality or the, how good they feel about, um, about the shot they've made is more to do with the quality of the swing they made rather than it is than the result from the ball. We all know Golf is a crazy game where tiny little, tiny little changes, you know, uh, can make huge differences. So half a degree here, half a degree there in the club face, um, a lot of that can make um, drastic changes to the results that you achieve. And that's accepted, okay? Professionals accept that, but they get really upset when they don't feel like they're swinging well, when they feel like they came out of it, or they didn't, you know, they didn't do something correctly that's when they're unhappy. They, sometimes they can really accept what happens as long as they put a good feeling swing on it. And, uh, and that's how you should practice too, okay? Don't get obsessed with what the ball does, okay? Feel you're putting a nice swing on it and doing what you're intended to do, okay? That, ho hopefully, uh, you can repeat that more often um, and eventually the ball striking will get better eventually the ball flight will do what you want it to do. And when you go play, just trust that. And try and focus on the target, external cues, all that. And just go play, have fun. And, uh, and you'll find that you'll, you might not hit it that well, or you don't feel like you hit it that well that day, but you will score much better. It's just a fact, it's just the way it works. Um, you will score much better. Okay, that's it. That's, uh, that's a quick one from me. Uh, try it out, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure it will work for, for you. Um, that's the way the human brain works, and that's the way you will improve uh, the quickest. All right, Mig Manus Golf uh, signing off. Oh, by the way, this beautiful little setup here is my friend Lindsay's uh, house. I'm in the UK at the moment, uh, down at Gatwick Airport in Horsham. And uh, this is his little setup, which is nice, nice little practice, uh, practice putting green here outside his front door. So. Thank you, Lindsay, for the use of your facilities. All right. See you later, peeps.